Hello everyone, it's Lee Asics here bringing you another video. Today we're going to do the ice gear setup video, which a lot of you have requested, so I'm glad to bring it to you at last. And if you want to see any other classes gear setups, they're all on my channel, so be sure to check them out. So without further ado, let's get right into the PvP setup. Crocker Patch or Blizzard Fez is definitely the best hat for ice. You can go for the Malister Hood, but you do lose the stats, but it's easier to get, I guess, because the Crocker Patch one will involve either money or you farming like Jade Oni or Crocopatra herself which is kind of a long dungeon but yeah this is definitely the best hat so I would recommend going for this one for the robe I'm using the Bone Smashers robe of cold because in my opinion it is the best robe it has a better balance of pips and accuracy compared to the Corporal Tennyson robe so definitely pick this one up instead of the Corporal Tennyson robe but if you have the Corporal Tennyson robe, you can use it as well. It's just as good, but maybe just a tad worse. It shouldn't make too much of a difference. And then for the boots, you get these from the Goltress Horde pack. 25% damage, 13% resistant. Not much to say on these. They're just really good. The same with the Lydia Frozen Fruit Wraps. These are also really good, but you lose a bit of damage on these, but gain a bit more pips and a tad of accuracy. So if you want, you can use these as well. This wand you get from the revert crafting from the Arcanum. This is quite annoying to craft, but it is a really good wand as you can see. And with the two sockets makes it even better. If you're lazy like I once was, definitely pick up this wand. You can get it from the Immortal Lord pack. It's also a really good wand, so if you want to just pick this one up instead because it's a bit easier to get, then be sure to do that. Um, you get this Afame from Yevgeny. Don't really need to add on to this. I'm pretty sure you will use this half aim, so let's just move on. For the amulet, I use the one from Shane One Shane in Dark Mode Part 2, not to be mistaken with the Part 3 one, because he doesn't drop this amulet, which is kind of weird. But, yeah, what can I say about this 4% pierce? That is major. Really good. Pierce is so important in PvP. It's just really, really important. It will be the big difference maker in your hits. But if you want to go more defensive, you can definitely use this as well. You get this from the rat. 6% resist. Not much else to say there. Duelist Dead Devil Ring. Level 100 version. Because after level 100, like the level 110 one, it gives different stats. But this is definitely the best PvP ring. Now 6% pierce once again. And then big damage. Decent health and pips. It's really good. And then I'm using a triple double pet with the mighty jaw in it. You need to make sure the pet has certain stats. So as you can see, the stats on this pet are really high. And that's what makes it like this. Um, I can make a video on this if you would like that. Just leave a comment below and I can sort of explain this and how to get these kind of stats on your pet. For the Mount Ice Sculpture, don't need it. It just gives your stats an edge from the Goldtress Ward Pack. You get this deck from the Rat, Pip, Triangle Socket, and Health. Can't go wrong. So, I will quickly cover the critical set because not everyone's interested in this. Dwarven Hat, Crown Shop, part of the Dwarven Attire. Can also go for the Cabal Hood um, from Secret Tunnels. For the Robe, Bone Smasher Robe, once again. For the Boots, Cabal List Boots. Or, once again, you can use the Lydia Boots because they give the same critical. But I like the Cabal Boots because they give that big damage boost. But, if you like pips in your critical setup, then you can go for the Lydia Boots because they give 9% pips extra. Wand, I use the Shard Warrior's Hammer, which is part of the Jewel Crafters bundle, which is retired, so if you'd want this, you'd have to wait till Bundle Palooza. Or you can get the Harrowing Nightmare Wand, but that's only available at Halloween. So you could also go for the Terror Horde Wand instead, or once again, use the Lance. If you want something quickly for a questing set, then yeah, you can definitely use this wand as well. Or this wand here from the Christmas pack, but that's like more damage and not much critical. Same with this. So you'd even want a damage or a critical setup. This is a critical setup, so that's why I go for this. And then for the Afame, you got to use them critical jewels because they make a big difference. They're like 3 to 4% per jewel, depending on how big it is. I think the 17 ones give about 4, maybe 5% critical. And the ones I have at the moment, like the plus 14 ones, are 3%. So that can really add up. That makes 9% extra percentage on the critical.
emulate your shame on shame once again um, not much to add to this it's just the highest critical you can get on the emulate I think I don't think there's any others that I'll give high critical so yeah definitely this one this is quite an important one and then for the ring you can get this from mimic it's gold key boss in mirage in agro bar i believe and yeah nine percent damage high high critical but you don't get any pips once again but it's a very good ring overall quad critical pet you need a quad critical pet because you don't even make a hundred percent critical of this but you get fairly close and the quad critical pet is definitely the main component for that so yeah if you want a critical setup you'll need a pet like this mine's in the kiosk if you want to go hatch with it by the time you watch this it may not be but i try to put them in every time so just look for a quad critical pet in the kiosk and once again if you want to see a guide on how to make good pets so i can do that just leave a comment below ice sculpture once again is very very good just a three percent ice damage not needed but it just boots everything to the next level and then the red deck again because you need the triangle socket and then the pit helps and then that gives 113% damage with 776 crit which is 92% you get enough accuracy so you don't fizzle but the pips are 85% so not the worst you don't get max critical but you will critical a lot and I forgot to show the PvP stats so I'll quickly show them here 124% damage, 66 resist, 130 flat resist, 32 accuracy, not much critical, but good PS, and 91% pip chance. So ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the video from the ice gear setup. Hopefully this helped, and be sure to drop a like if it did. And if you have any video suggestions or any questions, don't be shy, put a comment below, and until next time guys, peace.